Just like Google, Facebook is trying to help small businesses communicate with their customers and has released new functionalities so you can update your Facebook business page and tell your customers where you stand during the crisis. If you want to know more, hold your breath because we're diving in now. Hi there, my name is Luke Durand, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk, where I talk about the best tools, tips and tricks to help your small business grow online step by step and click by click. If it is your first time here, consider subscribing and clicking on the bell button so you don't miss a thing. In its quest to support small business owners, Facebook rolled out brand new functionalities so you can publish virus-related updates directly on your business page. In today's video, I'm going to tell you what these are and how to use them. I will also give you an extra couple of tips you can use on your page so you leave no stones unturned. Let's start with the first update, temporary service changes. You now have the ability to make two types of changes to explain how your business is currently operating. If your business is presently closed, you can it as temporarily closed, like in this example of a yoga studio in New York called Solace. This is what the page preview would look like if I search for this business specifically. It will also appear in search results, so if I search for Yoga Studio New York, I can see the temporary closed mention has been added as part of the listing. This information will also be displayed on your page right under the About section. I feel it's not super obvious, but I guess it's better than nothing. If your business is not entirely closed and you have just changed the way you offer services, you can specify these changes on your page. If you run a restaurant, for example, and are now offering delivery or pickup options, you can add it to your page. Just like the temporarily closed option, it will appear on search results for generic search terms, like in this example for Italian restaurants near me. On the page preview, if I search for the exact name of the place, like this, on the page itself, under the About section, but also in featured list of places offering food delivery. Implementing either of these changes on your page is very simple, but seems to be only doable on your mobile phone. Let me show you how it's done. Log into your Facebook app and tap the hamburger menu on the bottom right hand corner. Select your business page. On the top right hand side corner, tap on the clock icon, then tap the page info option. Scroll down to the Hour section and tap the Temporary Service Changes option. To mark your business as temporarily closed, just tap on the radio button next to the option and click Save. To update your service offering, just tap the radio button next to the Open with Service Changes, then click Next. Select the appropriate option and click Save. If none of the predefined options are suitable to you, you have the ability to select other changes and create a post which will detail the changes to your services. Let's move on to the next element Facebook recommends you update on your page. Opening hours. Your business may still be open, but with a reduced timetable. If this is the case, it's important you update your opening and closing times so they are accurate. If you want to do this on a desktop, just log in to Facebook and navigate to your page. In the top ribbon, click on settings. From the left hand side menu, choose page info, then scroll down to the hour section and change the opening and closing times accordingly. If you want to do this from a mobile phone, just log into your Facebook app, tap the hamburger menu on the bottom right hand side of the screen and select your business page. Tap on the clock icon on the top right hand side of your screen and then tap on the page info option. Scroll down to the Hours section, then tap on the existing closing and opening times. Tap the Edit Hour option and make the changes you need and save. Although Facebook was quick enough to roll out these new functionalities and make recommendations, I still feel there are a couple of extra steps you can take to make sure none of your customers are left in the dark, starting with your Facebook cover. The Facebook cover of your business page is by far the most prominent element visitors will see. So why not use it to convey a message? If you are not sure how to do this, here is a very simple way of changing it. Firstly, make sure you save your existing banner so you can restore it when necessary. Just right click on the banner and select the option Save Image As. Then save it somewhere on your computer, somewhere safe. To create a new banner in minutes, here is what you can do. Go to canva.com. If you are not familiar with canva.com, it is a simple graphic design platform that uses drag and drop technology with predefined templates designed for all social media platforms. 
It makes your content creation super fast and efficient. I personally use it all the time as it is a massive time saver. You'll have to pay for some of the designs, but there are a huge amount of free ones, which is more than enough. You can log in using a Google account or a Facebook account or start an account via your email. I'm going to use Google. If you see a pop-up offering you a free trial, just close it down and then from the left hand side menu, click on create a design button. Then search for Facebook cover. Select the Facebook cover option from the drop down. This will bring you to a screen which matches the exact dimensions of a Facebook cover. You can use a predefined design by dragging and dropping it on your Canva just like this and amend it accordingly by clicking on the various elements. Alternatively, you can bring your very own banner and touch it up. Just click on the upload option from the left hand side and then click on the upload an image or video button. Then drag and drop your image on the Canva. All you need to do now is add some elements or simply some copy. Whichever way you decide to choose and whatever you decide to add is obviously entirely up to you, but it shouldn't take any time at all. Once you're done, click on the download button on the top right hand side of your screen and click on download. All you need to do now is to load your new banner to your page. As you can see, it's very simple to do and should only take you minutes. Since your banner is the one thing all your visitors will see, I really feel it's worth updating. Let's now have a look at the last thing you can do to make sure all your customers know what's happening with your business. Pin a post. Just in case you didn't know, whenever you add a new post to your page, you have the ability to pin it right at the top of your feed, so it always stays there. So for those of you who have chosen to change your services and selected the option Other Changes, this is what I recommend you do. Pinning a post is very simple. Once you've posted it, just click on the three dots on the top right hand side and select the pin to top of page option and you're done. Even if your circumstances haven't changed, I would still go ahead and create a post to explain exactly what potential visitors can expect. That's it for today. Make sure your page is as up to date as possible. I've seen tons of businesses who have yet to make the right modifications and may mislead their potential customers. Millions of people use Facebook every day, more now than ever, and will come across your business by searching for very specific services you now have the opportunity to communicate clearly to them. I hope you found this video useful. As always, if you have any questions or comments, post them below and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, happy marketing.